U.S. Bank's a longtime supporter of youth employment. We know these opportunities are good for both our youth and our business, and we're so excited to be here, and we're so excited and proud to be a partner with Right Track. So to begin this morning, I'd like to first introduce the Mayor of St. Paul, Chris Coleman. Thank you so much. It's uh, great to have you all here, just so many community partners that are engaged in this effort, but it really starts with... Uh, U.S. Bank that is, has been just an incredible supporter of youth jobs, uh, and it starts at the top of U.S. Bank, and it goes all the way through the organization. Richard Davis, the CEO, president of U.S. Bank, has taken this mission very personally, uh, and I know that all the folks that work across U.S. Bank have taken it uh, very seriously. And what's great is they, uh, they're so appreciative of the work that we're doing that they've offered everybody a free $100 bill. So after, <laughs> after the event is over, just line up and write... Uh, I might, have, I might have misheard that. Um, we do have a lot of great supporters and a lot of great champions in this room. We, I know that uh, Council Member Chris Tolbert is here somewhere. Uh, I saw him coming in. Chris uh, has made it a, a personal mission of his, and he's been engaged in bringing in youth during the course of the summer. We have Genesis Works and Jeff Tollefson, uh, who have developed just incredible high, uh, high um, standards for their youth and really getting them ready for professional settings. Uh, that has been a, just a, a great model for us. Um, the Right Track ad Employer Advisory Team, including Ecolab, U.S. Bank, Allegra Printing, and the St. Paul Chamber of Commerce, uh, incredible partners for us here. Uh, we want to thank them. Um, and just all of you that are here and everyone that is not here that has played a role in meeting this incredible need that we have in our community. Uh, I was uh, 16 years old when I first walked into uh, House of Wong restaurant on Larpenter uh, and said, can I get a job? I'm 16 now. Uh, and they said, sure, can you start now? And I said, sure, and uh, worked there for, for several years afterwards. It was hard work. It was dirty work. Uh, it was tiring. But at the end of the day, I learned a lot of lessons about the value of hard work, about what it means to show up to uh, a job on time, uh, learned what it was like to get yelled at by a boss after I dropped a plate of uh, dishes. Uh, I learned all of those things that made me, uh, quite frankly, uh, put me in a, on a path to being mayor, and the, they are lessons that I continue to, uh, to rely on on a regular basis. But unfortunately, a third of our youth, ages 16 to 19, are unemployed. We have significant disparities in education and employment outcomes. And these uh, pose serious threats to the future well-being of our economy and our cities. City, our city has a long history of providing youth employment. Each summer we placed 500 youth in parks libraries uh, in the city of St. Paul and with 30 nonprofit partners. Many of those partners are in the room today, but we know that we need to do more. Right Track begins, brings together the city of St. Paul St. Paul Public Schools, businesses, and community-based organizations to provide work readiness and employment opportunities for all of our youth. It's a way for our children and our employers to envision a pipeline of opportunities that build skills, how a first job uh, as a park or a library, at a park or a library can lead to a summer internship with Ecolab, for instance. Uh, and that job, in turn, gets a student ready for a senior year uh, capstone doing advanced IT work with Genesis Works, perhaps. Uh, that, is the, that, that is the pipeline uh, that we are creating here today that's, that gets a child in the door into an employment situation and ultimately starts training them for 21st century workforce opportunities. We've heard the data that changing workforce uh, and, and all of its implications for our economy, uh, right track is a simple way for us to take action to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our employers and helping our children along the way. The beauty of this, the beauty of this opportunity is for as little as $1,400, a business can hire a young person for a summer internship. We'll provide the training and the support. Low in, uh, it's a low commitment. Uh, it's a low uh, kind of opportunity or a low, maybe low hanging fruit isn't quite the right word, but it's a, a low commitment and it's a way for us to help uh, all of our young talent to help develop that talent and encourage them along a path to future success while also helping to bring your business uh, an important part of the workforce in the future. Business, government, schools, and communities must come together in new ways to get young people on the right track to future careers. The strength of our local economy depends upon their success. We can't do it alone. We, have, we need all of you and all of the partners in this community to make this possible. And I'm not sure that I'm doing this in the right order. Am I going to turn it back to you? 
Okay, then I don't have to introduce our next speaker, and I don't have to guess which one that is. But thank you so much for being here, and thank you for supporting our youth and our future workforce. Thank you, Mayor Coleman. Next, I have the pleasure of introducing to you the Superintendent of Public Schools, Valeria Silva. Good morning, everybody. It feels nice here, isn't it? Well, um, it's very difficult to follow the mayor, as you may imagine, because he took all my lines. But the reality is the partnership that we have been able to develop in, in this last few years not only is helping the students, but it's helping the community. I mean, the business community will benefit a lot. And I tell you that because we have had that experience in our own um, central office to have interns that we learn as much from an intern that the intern is learning from us. Remember, we're still kind of stuck in 20, 30 years ago, and we don't know what goes on in the real life today of the future entrepreneurs and the future members of the business community. So and having someone who not only bring the desire to learn, but bring their own culture, which is quite different from what our employees, employers are able to have today. The market, the work market in the next 10 years, even six years from now, 2020, will look so different from what it is today. Do you remember in 2000 when we all petrified that the world was going to end? Well, we're starting to think about 2020 and the students who today are in our school in eighth grade would be graduating from high school. The kids who graduated from high school a couple of years ago would be working with you. And they are not the same workforce that you have today. They're much better prepared, more worldly, and the best of all, they represent the whole world that St. Paul Public Schools graduates every day. Every day, no, every year, but we graduate every day in everything we do. Our kids are the future, and thank you for investing on them. Thank you. Now we have the pleasure of hearing from one of our students who participated in the program last year. Deshaun Baker, a student at Harding High School, an intern at Excel Energy, exemplifies the right track experience. He will now tell us more about his story, and we're so excited to hear from him. I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> well, Hello, I would like to say thanks to you all for attending today's event. And I would like to also especially thank Mayor Chris Coleman, Superintendent Silva, Matt Kramer, and Right Track for giving me this opportunity to share my wonderful experience. Let me tell you about my life before Right Track. Throughout the years, I've worked in several different work environments, such as fast food, technical communications, and outdoors. I worked at Derriette, World of Wireless, and the Community Design Center, which is now known as Urban Roots. I first learned about the Right Track program at an event which, that was held at Urban Roots. When I obtained more in, insight on Right Track, I automatically thought this was the perfect opportunity to take my career to the next level. I decided to apply to Right Track because it sounded like something that would help me become more independent, mature, and career ready. After the application process was over, I received a call from Right Track notifying me that I've been accepted into the program and would be an intern at XL Energy. My heart began to pound. <laughs> I felt as if I was blessed with a miracle. I knew this was a new beginning to my, for my pro professional career. Excuse me. While interning for XL at the Highbridge plant, I worked on various administrative assistant projects such as scanning, docu documenting, working with the copy machine, and updating file systems. All these skills were new to me because I've never worked in an office setting. My internship has been significant because it's a great opportunity and it's an experience from which I've grown. After high school, I planned to attend a college and major in the field of engineering. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
The Right Track program has intensified my desire to go to college by providing me the experience to work in an environment full of successful college graduates. In the future, I plan to work my way up to owning my own engineering firm. <laughs> this internship has helped me get closer to my goals by letting me see how a facility of engineers effectively operates. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to my story, and good luck to the future interns of Right Track. <laughs> And I'm Deshaun Baker, and I go to Harding High School. <laughs> Thank you, Deshaun. What a wonderful story. And as an employer, you know, we're really changing lives. So I encourage you to, to join Right Track and join our initiative as, as we work with these students and just make a difference and change lives. And I'd like to next introduce Matt Kramer. He's the president of the St. Paul Area Chamber of Commerce. Well, <clears throat> as anybody who's attended any event like this knows, the last speaker has the opportunity to either repeat everything that's been said <laughs> or very simply say, the business community values right track because if you remember both the mayor's comments and the superintendent's comments, this is about developing a pipeline. We think about developing pipelines of customers, marketing, branding. Remember that employers are also developing that pipeline of future employees. So this is about doing good, but it's also about doing well, and it's about doing well for the business. It's about finding that future employee, inspiring him or her, they go on to college, and then they enter the workforce. What a great validation of a civic business partnership with the school district that starts right now and pays dividends for the years to come. Thank you. So in closing, I'd like to thank you for joining us this morning. This is a great opportunity for our youth, and it's a great opportunity for our, our businesses as well. U.S. Bank is proud to join the effort, and we encourage you to visit the Right Track website, look at the information you've been provided today, and we encourage you to take action. We're excited to have you join us with our initiative. Thank you.